driving while intoxicated in Texas is really the second most serious offense you can commit when you're behind the wheel of a car. Why is it the second most serious? Because the most serious would be if you're drunk driving and kill someone. How serious is driving while intoxicated? How many lives does it take? Well, it takes about a thousand people a year. In our state, driving while intoxicated is really the number one cause of all traffic fatalities for people 29 and younger. Automobile accidents are the number one killer of all people 29 and younger. But drinking and driving causes roughly half of these fatalities. So what is drinking and driving? In our state, we measure it when you have a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08% or higher. Now I put on the screen there what it looks like as a decimal to try and reinforce with you just what a tiny amount of alcohol we're talking about being in your bloodstream and yet it causes you to be unable to drive a car, okay? You've got to get this through your head. I've given great thought about driving while intoxicated and I really rank it as number three on our list of things you never do. You never kill someone, you never steal, and you never drive while you're intoxicated. The ramifications of it really start off at about $2,000 and go all the way up to possibly 20 years in prison if you're drunk driving and kill someone. Now, on the screen I've also put driving under the influence. In that situation, you can be charged with DUI if your blood alcohol concentration is 0.079% or lower. Now how on earth could you get charged with this? This violation results when an officer sees you driving in a way that is dangerous, that's inconsistent. And when he or she sees this, then he can pull you over. He has probable cause at this point. Maybe because you're weaving, you're, in other words, you're not holding a straight line as you drive down the road, or maybe your speed is inconsistent. Either one of those are true signs of someone who's intoxicated and driving. Now, we've limited the conversation of intoxicated to the idea of just alcohol, but it can be any substance that affects your ability to drive a car. It could be Benadryl, it could be cocaine, it could be marijuana, it could be cough syrup, it could be prescription medication. All of these are causes that could result in you being unable to drive the car. And this is why it's such a serious infraction, because you're unable to drive the car. If you were doing something dangerous and it was just you involved, that's a whole nother story. But when you choose to get behind the wheel of a car and drive, you're now putting yourself and others in danger. People that don't want to be in danger. People that are really trying to avoid the situation that you might be putting them in. And this is the problem with drinking and driving or drug use and driving is that often these drugs, particularly alcohol, give you this illusion, this belief, some people will say, that makes them believe they're better drivers than they actually are. And this is where alcohol becomes so dangerous is it makes you believe you can drive when you are far, far from that. And this is, I think, why young people end up with so much trouble with alcohol is because they get behind the wheel of the car and at that moment they're believing they can drive. And yet their friends and all video cameras that show their ability to walk, their coordination, is suffering. And if these are suffering, imagine what your reaction time is going to be like. Driving while intoxicated is an absolute never. You have got to get this through your head. It's something you can never do. Okay, now we're going to talk more about the consequences of driving while intoxicated.